I'm Bill Elsey with Showplace Lawns. I want to talk to you about how to have a great lawn naturally. This is a very great subject for me because we are an organic based landscaping service and this is what we do every day, helping people to achieve a great looking landscape that is safe and that works for them. Best way to do that is to first of all clear the land of all the salts and the impurities. This can be done by using a very good soil activator, spraying it over the lawn, which helps to wash and clean out the impurities that exist. Once this is accomplished, and unfortunately this takes a while, everything organically and naturally does not happen overnight. In most cases when we take on a project to turn uh, a yard around, we're looking at about 18 months on average, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less, depending on the condition that the soil is in for us to start with. Then what we do, there is really no certain set one, two, three procedure. Depending on the time of year that you start, you pick up at that location and go forward. Things that we do and things that will work for you are you want to be sure that you aerate the lawn once every year. A good time for that would be March, early April uh, time frame. We fertilize three times a year with an organic fertilizer. No chemicals are allowed. The organic fertilizers do not have urea as a nitrogen base. That is bad news to have urea, so we use other products. Then we also do a spray that is made up of liquid seaweed, horticultural molasses, and that same soil activator that I was telling you about. This allows for the, to help create a more stronger environment to make the, the, the soil and plants more drought tolerant, more cold tolerant, and even more heat tolerant. We do this on a monthly basis. We also use compost tea, a very good product that's a vitamin, a quick fix, a disease fighter, does wonderful things and you cannot use that enough in my opinion. Weed pre-emergence are a very big thing and we use corn gluten meal for that. Corn gluten will prevent a seed from forming a root, therefore it, will, it can't, cannot come up. It's also 9% nitrogen. We have lawns in our part of the country that stay green through the winter because of the corn gluten. They go dormant, but they stay green. Those are the methods for our weed fighting. We also use dry molasses application Molasses is a wonderful thing in that it creates and helps build more sugar content, but it also, believe it or not, is a great ant preventative. The sugar content that we use helps the grass especially to build up more carbohydrates, and it does that in the cooler parts of the year, for when we get to summer, it lives on stored energy. So between the liquid molasses and the dry molasses, we're aiding in that concept. Aeration, fertilization, weed control with corn gluten, dry molasses, and our sprays. Those are the general uh, things that can be done. Once you convert the soil, everything will start happening in a more natural environment. The soil is the key. It's like the framework on a house. Once we get that in a good shape with organic matter and so forth, then your plants will survive a lot better.